What up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Match Run Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing Fatal Fury King of Fighters for Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and Neo Geo. Now, the Neo Geo version was made by SNK, while the Super Nintendo and Genesis versions were made by Takara. And for the sake of this particular review, I'm just going to mainly put emphasis on the Super Nintendo version. Now, the plot is that Geese Howard is hosting the King of Fighters tournament, and he's also a, a pretty much a local crime boss in the game. And Terry Bogart, Andy Bogart, and Joe. I guess he, I'm not, I know I'm not pronouncing it right down to try, and, but the, the, these three guys are um, pretty much entered into the tournament because um, 10 years prior, Geese pretty much killed his rival, Jeff Bogart, who is Terry and Andy's father, so they're pretty much out for revenge. It's pretty much a basic storyline of revenge and stuff like that. And, and Fatal Fury is pretty much a um, fighting game like the Street Fighter franchise and the Mortal Kombat franchise. But the game is pretty similar to the um, to the Street Fighter franchise from a graphical standpoint. And you pretty much fight eight different guys. The, I'll say seven different guys to get to a uh, geese. Some of the guys are like uh, Duck King, Richard Meyer, Michael Maxis, and other guys like that. You know what I'm saying? Another guy named Billy Kane. You and you pretty much pick which um, which um, guy you want to fight first. You know what I'm saying? So somewhat similar to Mega Man, but but not a lot. You know what I'm saying? So after you beat each guy, you go to the next one, and it's and after you beat two of the guys, you go to like a book. Every two uh, guys that you beat, you go to a um, pony stage where you have to um, do something in a in a in a certain amount of time. And pretty much all the bad guys that you face. Have their own fighting discipline from boxing to pro wrestling to my my ties and stuff like that. It, it must like the bad guys, Andy, Joe, and you know Terry got their own fighting disciplines also. And in the um, actually the special moves would technically reflect that. For example, Terry has the Power wave, the rising tackle, the crack shot, and the burning knuckle. Joe um, has the TNT punch, the hurricane uppercut, the tiger knee, and and the um, slash kick. But plus, Andy had, has his own. But I will end up butchering all of his. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not really familiar with his moves. As far as the as far as the names are concerned, but in, in any of it, all three of them have four different special moves that they can execute. And one thing I did notice about Fatal Fury, as far as the map, which you first see at the um, selection uh, at the selection screen, is that the map is is the map design is pretty similar to. Um, the Final Fight uh, trilogy on the Super Nintendo, specifically the first one, uh, with the graphics and level design as a whole, it, it is they're pretty good, and, and the color palette is pretty similar to the Final Fight franchise and the um, Street Fighter franchise, but it, it but it's, but they're pretty good nonetheless, and the gameplay is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I say the main difference between Fatal Fury and say Street Fighter is more the emphasis.
this is it's more um, strategy than it is on the combos. And I can honestly say, technically speaking, Fatal Fury didn't like say did not set any new standards in terms of the gameplay, but it holds its own. You know what I'm saying? Now the um, the soundtrack is pretty good. I didn't find any like big time flaws with it, but it does hold its own and it fits Fatal Fury. The only thing I wish they could have did is have like more playable characters, like a minimum of like five or six instead of three. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it was I. It's, some people would like consider it kind of a nitpick as far as the as far as the number of playable characters is concerned. But I don't have like. Any major complaints with the with the game from an overall standpoint, and if I'm not mistaken, um, there was a, a lawsuit between um, Capcom and SNK because some of the moves that's found in um, um, Fatal Fury was very similar to uh, some of the moves that's found in um, the Street Fighter franchise. And if that's if I'm if I'm if my memory is correct, that was the case. If anybody remember remembers that particular lawsuit, if, you can mention it in, in the comment section. Now, overall, the Fatal Fury is a good game overall. You know what I'm saying? And it's pretty much and it's a nice addition to the. Um, fighting genre, and I would recommend this game to anybody who is a fan of the fighting genre, anybody who is a retro gamer, and any and any gamer who has, who does last plays and live stream on their YouTube channel or their Twitch channel, whatever the case may be. That was that. With that being said, for the, the score, I would definitely give it an 8 out of 10. And if you and if you like Fatal Fury, regardless if it's the Super Nintendo version, Genesis, or Neo Geo, you can mention it in the comment section. If you like my review of Fatal Fury, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button and and share it or share it on say like Facebook or Twitter or something. And don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy Big Metroid Fan Twelve signing off.